Hello to anyone who is listening. My name is Azal. This is a story that my father told me long ago. The story about how we first met our old gods. It all started when people spotted a strange signal from a distant and uninhabited planet somewhere in the galaxy. So they sent an expedition to that distant planet. The Dissim landed near the ridge at the beginning of the gorge. They landed at the foot of the ridge and walked through rocky landscapes and gorges, occasionally bumping into strange, unlike natural, mountain ranges and caves in the rocks.
entered a huge cave with a beautiful man-made passage carved right into the rock, like a temple in the city of Petra on Earth. As they walked through the cave, passages to different rooms and halls flashed past from time to time. In some of these halls, the remains of strange mechanisms were seen, similar to the ancient stone ruins, but clearly technological, and having some more complex than just mechanical functions. At the end of the corridor, they entered the largest hall, from which five large tunnels led, one of which is the one through which they came. huge hall. It started to glow and emit pulsating sounds and low frequency vibrations, on the verge of an audible range. The team started to feel strange thoughts as if the obelisk was communicating. One of the team, accidentally as a no-biologist, fall in an epileptic-like seizure, and only after 10 minutes medic managed to bring him to senses. He told that he was like in an immersive virtual cinema, visited the main part of the history of this civilization, and knows what happened here. And that very sad story has not ended yet, and the team found itself in the middle of the last confrontation.
for the decay through one of the other tunnels, which was slightly different from the others. The tunnel had no side quarters, no rooms, and was perfectly flat. Tunnel led the team to a huge plane located on the other side of the ridge. What they saw there amazed and at the same time frightened them. They saw a huge city under the blue skies and many starships ready to take off. All of them were like from frescoes inside Egyptian temples and pyramids. Looking very ancient, but at the same time working and ready to fly. Strange humanoid creatures crowded around them. The team thought for a second that these were the gods of Egypt, who came from the frescoes and are now standing somewhere in front of them in the distance. The dome that covered this entire plane created an artificial atmosphere and imitated the sky, and from the outside it imitated the landscape of this seemingly abandoned planet. Air sensors showed breathable composition, and the xenobiologist was first to remove the helmet. Team decided to go further. It seemed to be the first contact. <laughs> 